Alright guys, so we are leaving uh, Running Creek. You can see the, the sign over there. Uh, so yeah, we're leaving this caravan park straight onto the road. How beautiful is that? Whoa! I've quite got my cycling bearings yet. Uh, it's had a good sleep. It's uh, nine o'clock. So we're starting fairly late. I had to dry out my tent. We're at that uh, phase of Australia where it's uh, hot during the day, cool during the night. In fact, I had to sleep my sleeping bag yesterday. And I also had to wear my down jacket. So yeah, it's pretty cold out this way. To be expected, we're going inland. Um, yeah, feeling good. And this this area is just so beautiful. Look at that, look how green it is. It reminds me a bit like home. Um, so yeah, today uh, I'm planning to do, I haven't fully figured it out yet. Uh, I'm gonna cycle to Woodsford, Woodsford first. Uh, it's simply because they have the next supermarket after this. There isn't one until Toowoomba, so I need to get some stock. I need to get some more water. So that's a water stop for me to get some food uh, for the next day. And then I'm, I'm, I think this place is called Esk. So I plan to go there. there. Google has decided a different route and I kind of want to go past the dams. Uh, it's going to be a hilly ride today, something like 500 meters of climbing. Hopefully I won't have headwind, I kind of feel it now, but because uh, I'm going to be heading west. So I'll probably get a side wind today. Uh, right now I'm heading south to get onto the main road, but any second now, I'm going to start turning west. But yeah, this is so picturesque, guys. Really enjoying the ride. I could take pictures everywhere here. Like, everywhere. It's that good. Very picturesque, but i got a lot of riding to do, so... Okay, so Google's shouting in my ear right now. Oh my gosh, Google, shut up. I know you can't hear Google, but shouting in my ear, giving directions. Got my earphones in. Um, yeah, so Woodsford, 10 kilometers away. Nice smooth road. So I'm gonna get some kilometers in, probably give you an update on my statistics. Uh, past Woodford, all right. But uh, just before I go, let's show you the road. Look at that, guys. Just uh, lots of woodland. Farm vistas. Actually, I, I noticed that there's a lot of motorbikers out. They were speeding past the, uh, the outskirts of the caravan site. So I'll probably see a lot of bikers today. You see uh, one of the glass house mountains over there. There's three of them. Uh, that's the, the last one. Well, last one. It depends which direction you're going. That's uh, this direction is the last one. Uh, yeah, it's just so nice here, guys. Hope you're appreciating the view as much as me. All right, catch you on the road. Okay, guys, welcome. Uh, welcome back. So I just stopped in uh, Woodsford and uh, had a really nice pie and chips with gravy. I am super stuffed now. I thought I'd take advantage of it as it was there. 
and I looked up there was free internet so I was looking up where I could stay and uh, I've just figured out like what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna go to the dam because all the caravan parks around that area or places I can stay are like between 40 to 60 dollars a night which is extortionate for a caravan site uh, just to pitch your tent so oh the dead dead snake I've seen a lot of snakes on the road squished and they're really long like about three meters or so I think that's pretty long for a, for a snake oh here comes the magpie join the party to get in in the video and here's some uh, well, this is like motorbike haven. Uh, this is so many people on motorbikes. Uh, anyway, so I've decided that I'm not going to go to that dam. I'm going to ride to Tulugawa. I think that's how you say it. Tulugawa. <laughs> uh, which is, I think it's about 52 kilometers away. So yeah, today's ride is going to be a bit of a short one. And as we're riding, I'll give you some statistics. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to switch the camera to the road so you don't have to look at my face. But it's really green here. Look at I wanted to stay here last night actually. Showground COVID. A uh, Showground, right. uh, because of COVID, they won't allow people to tents. You have to be self contained. So, oh well, and my day. So, yeah, I'm gonna switch the camera, show you the road ahead, give you some statistics, and I'm gonna keep on pedaling. It's gonna be a short one today, big one tomorrow, big hilly one tomorrow. I was just speaking to some locals, and they were saying that, yeah, it's, it's quite a climb up. Uh, to get to Toowoomba from here. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. They said the, the roads, it's got quite a good shoulder and once you get up there, there's not much traffic on the roads and once you get up there, it's a beaut. And we like it when it's a beaut. <laughs> okay, I'm switching the camera. You see what I'm looking at? And some statistics. So I've been uh, riding 14.6 kilometers so far. Uh, current speed 24 kilometers an hour. So I'm, I'm kind of getting like a side wind, slight headwind, nothing too serious. Um, which is good. But it doesn't really matter because today's ride's going to be quite short. I think in total actually it'll be about 70 kilometers with what I've already done just under. Uh, my elevation we're up 130 meters up. I said 124 meters up yesterday above sea level. Yeah starting above sea level today. Not nothing too significant. Uh, yeah, and my average so far is 22.3. So yeah, I'm just bumbling about. Enjoying the scenery. But yeah, I like that town. It's got like sort of an antique feel to it. An antique charm. Uh, and they've renovated it, but kept, kept its old school-ness. That's it for now guys, so let's just keep riding. Pop quiz everyone, where am I? Where am I? There's no way you can figure out where I am right now. I don't even know where I am. Oh, 
down in Australia. Um, so yeah, I'm out on this uh, small road. Very picturesque. So, uh, hills, mountains. I kind of go in between them, sometimes over them. Uh, so it's, it's been pretty hilly. It's so beautiful. And I've noticed that it's starting to get drier now. Uh, as, as we go more inland, in the grass, uh, it's all the hay. It's kind of gone golden, golden brown to uh, even. Uh, just well, this. How would we describe that? It's coarse, dry, super dry. Um, so yeah, it's great. It's fantastic to see this change. Uh, but it's hot, guys. Really, really hot. Um, it is 35 degrees now. It was at 40 at what a moment ago. Um, and then I've gone in between the valley. It's cooled down a little bit. Uh, got really hot as I was riding up the up the hill. Yeah, just look at it. Uh, I love it where you see the hill, and because it's cloudy, it creates this shade, and then it moves along it. So it makes makes the the, the hill mountain. Makes it look alive. Uh, yeah, it's quite special. I also noticed as well, I'm going for a sort of magpie area here. So I've been getting attacked a few times, but there's not much out here. I've drank all my bottles of water except for, for one now. But I've just got less than 20, or around about 20 kilometers to go. So there should, there should, there should be plenty. I'm not dehydrated by any means. So yeah, this is it. Trying to keep plodding on. Maybe the next video will be uh, at the destination for today. But it's made me realize if it's gonna be like this tomorrow, it's very hot and dry. I need to take more water because it's gonna be hilly. Yeah, I just love it. Blah. We've arrived guys, we are at the stables, or well, the showground I should say. Uh, I can pretty much park, put my tent up anywhere I like. Uh, she said I could put it under the stables as well. I might do that, I'm not sure yet. Um, I like to be close to the amenities. She said there's good hot showers, which is exactly what I really need right now. Ah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you, this is the Tugalawa, Tugalawa Showground. It's pretty dry actually guys. If I stay under the shelter, then I don't need to use my tarp. Ah. Oh, maybe I should actually, if people can see me. But, yeah. um, Yes, there we have it, and uh, also they've got magpie warning signs. And one did try to sweep me as I was coming in. So, fantastic. Nice warm welcome. It is dry here, guys. Look at it. Look how dry it is. And um, over there somewhere, they've got parachuting. The drop zone, they call it. All right, I see everyone's shacked up over there. Maybe, I don't know. So I'm going to stop recording here. I'll probably finish this video. This will be my last video for the day. Just to see something in town. There's not much in town. I, I, I rode through it very quickly. So uh, yeah, see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along with me on my journeys. Bye for now.